Welcome, my friends, back to Screenplay CCG. It's been a little bit since we were here, but since we did our last video, we have fixed all of the performance issues, now getting a buttery smooth 60 FPS, just as the game was intended to be played. We have dramatically improved our deck, added some new lead characters. I'm working off screen on a deck that's crafting a whole new game plan. Right now, our core is still looking to be able to capitalize on playing a lot of little expendable characters and then capitalizing on them all in inevitably dying later on in the match. We're also at a tier in ranked where we should be playing all human opponents, so we're expecting the difficulty curve to be dramatically increased here. Opponent. Bishop of Maddox, when a friendly character lands an attack, gain a bonus star. Ghost of Holiday Turkey, when a neighbor performs successfully, gain a star. Okay, how do you respond if I just kill you? Just, just turn one, you die. And then... <laughs> We use our uh, Grumby Hugger, and I'll turn that Ghost of a Holiday Turkey into a... What's it called? I think it's a lettuce. There we go. Still keeping with the food theme. We'll see how well things play out. Sometimes even though this character, the Severus, is going to be able to gain bonus stars based on playing a lot of characters, just um, doing some damage control and con clean up against the opponent is still the best way to play it out. Zoop. And there you go. The Looney Lettuce Ride Ride Dodgeball Coach. While you play this card, your character's dodge. And he has three frames. Okay, so he gives you... Interesting. I mean, it's cool. I guess. <laughs> um, let's go with the Doomed Augur. And then let's play the Debt Ridden Scholar. <laughs> it's redundant. It's just all scholars. And then the Expandosaur. Skip me last frame and say I'm done. Going with a new lead here. You play... Nancheng. When a friendly character successfully dodges or performs, gain a star. And the retired pit fighter, when a friendly character dodges, it swift attacks back. Ah. But will you be smart enough to have the pit fighter dodge and attack back? This character is going to die anyway with backfire, so I'm fine launching this attack. And then when he dies, he will spawn a little... Um, Nope. Undo that. We'll spawn a little another character that will boost our lead. So then we will go with the Stab Happy Brute, who's going to happily stab the Doomed Augur, understands that he's doomed, give us additional bonus points. I feel like we're in a commanding position here. We have, I mean, being able to get the Fight Clubber down early to taunt for our lead is so crucial to cleaning up some bonus stars. We didn't quite have a way just to take you off the board, but I don't see you as that threatening. We'll see. We'll see how quickly you can stack up performances to be able to gain the bonuses. You dodge with the lettuce? Okay, come on. Why would I ever be attacking the lettuce? Then you play, what, this little gangsta? He dies... Do you have an ability? No. You are just a stat line and a gangster synergy. Well, let's play the auger. That should score Severus before my opponent is able to do anything to disrupt him. Meaning it's a little risky, but we could switch over to the Illuminati Lizard. Very similar to the, um, oh, I'm going to call her Ursula. I forget what her name is. That we've played with before when another character or crew leaves the set, gain a star. Now, most often you leave when you're destroyed, but there are some other situations where you leave. Um, our other character is Pirate Bloodbeard. I guess we might as well lock in our frames here. Okay. Pirate Bloodbeard is going to gain an enormous bonus if you kill two enemies hey, in the same turn. Lots below. of bonus points and then also drawing a card. The Illuminati Lizard is in play. We still have the taunt up, but he's gonna die soon, which is, of course, the idea. Now we just want to battle back. Um, yeah, just throw the attack here. You might as well go up here and then take you off the board. You're going to scale up to a 5-5 five, five next turn, which would take you off the board. Well, what if we just throw this? Right? So you're here. 
you are here, and then you, okay, yeah, we'll lock it in. My opponent has successfully played the game up to this point and not scored a bonus point. I can't tell if this is <laughs> tactical brilliance on my part or catastrophic failure on his, but I also feel like we had very good draws, and so there's a great showcase of what the deck wants to do. Ah, here, it'll be inevitable. This, this card, when you play it, it just gives you a star. He's done it. He's done it. Ah, time for us to retire. We let a star go through. Perfect bracket won't happen. What are you? Clawfeet Healer. Seen end. If this is frozen, hang on. Fully heal a random damaged friendly character. If this is frozen. Which really, you can self-inflict frozen by throwing attacks with her. So maybe we do want to attack here. Maybe. What else do we like? I mean, just throwing the attacks. If we can clear five cards off the board. Let's get our Catalyst Corn down. Uh, when he attacks, he pulls all the low attack characters to attack with him. Very fun. Then, let's knock you out. And let's take... I don't have two damage on anybody else except you, but you're gonna die. Okay, honestly. Mm. Dance, skelly dance. So they go to Severus. They play their cards down. Star up. We're just so close to winning here. Alright, Corn, go after him. Get everyone to fall in line. So it'd be you, 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 Corn. And it's a swift attack. Yeah, so it doesn't um, freeze those characters that follow the Corn. And then. I mean, you neatly take the Jurassic Cannon fodder out of the equation. And that just leaves. Uh, the Doom Dogger to take another piece off the board. Maybe one of my most successful, successful attackers at a 1-1. And this should be the match. Okay, the Kettle is Corn, definitely one of my favorites. And there's the match. I love it. <laughs> the game was rigged from the beginning. Let's get even more dialogue. Once more into the fray. Some familiar faces on the opponent's lineup. We'll see how well things play out. Go with the brawling broccoli for us. And then play out the Doom Dogger. Brawling broccoli. Throwing his early quick attacks. Ooh, perfect positioning. Interesting. The opponent rushing a lot of stars here, but their lead has so little health, the Broccoli should be able to take him off the board just in this next turn. Then we'll see if we can outpace them. I wonder if they're going to try and throw any attacks here or if they're going to come straight against the Broccoli. I imagine they try and take him off the board, so we just look to capitalize on... Laying down more pieces. Keeping the lead going. I guess I could undo this. I could do... Eh, let's play it. You could do Wake and Roll to get the Broccoli to try and dodge. If you really expect them to come and attack. But I would rather develop the line here. Especially with the Catalyst Corn. Being able to make use of all the little attacks. Oh, they do. Here we go. Attack. Pop, pop. Star, star. You're just going to let the broccoli go. All right, the broccoli's going to... Oh, here you go. Ah, you want to take them all the way up the board. Well, as I was saying, the little broccoli is going to tax you, my friend. You know, Pirate Bloodbeard would actually love having the broccoli on his battle line, but I think you got to play here. 
And then we'll go with the Sun Gazing Guru just to expand things. We'll call it at that. This is good. Broccoli key is keeping things thin. Hiding in plain sight. Now we'll both gain at the same time. Ooh, you're interesting. Spikes. Yeah, you're gonna hurt. But this attack is gonna go through. This is where we could throw the 1-800 airstrike and just blow up everything. Our double doom dogger deaths <laughs> would be able to do crazy stuff for us. But we could also have... Uh, let's go wake and roll on the lead. The opponent has shown they love taking these off the board at all costs. And then Catalyst Corn attacks here. We have seven damage going onto her. I'm done. Oh, you go for the performance. Interesting. I mean, it's clever. Um, when he dies, he performs, he gets the star, he gets the bonus. And then when he dies, he gives the star. Hang on, why did we get stunned? Oh, because you performed into my dodge. Okay, yes. I remember that was a feature. <laughs> I remember the rock, paper, scissors now. Oh, getting my Doom Dogger to attack you with spikes is perfect, right? I have to do this as quickly as I can. Yes. No, but the broccoli is going to do it first. Oh. <laughs> Tactical misplay. Um, so you're going to attack. You're going to die. You're going to die. I should. You're probably just going to perform. Um... Interesting. I should get my own guy to perform and then play the additional Doom Dogger. Skip. Call it good. Hold on. What are we doing? We're attacking my lead. You yes, we are. My but do I get the performance done? Oh, I do just in time. Yes. And the bonus for him leaving the stage. The Illuminati always gets its man. And now Mercy Kill takes him up because he was injured. Who is performing here? Oh, this guy, yeah, yeah. And then they just get some free stars to give out. Problem for you. So we are looking fantastic here. You don't want to destroy these guys. Honestly, we could come in with an airstrike. Oh, we could have done the airstrike. Would that have made more sense? If I play you, airstrike gives me three stars. No, I think this is still what we wanted to play. Man, that little brawling broccoli. I'm going to attribute the win to them. I think uh, they were the little, the little veggie that could in this matchup. And given that we're playing such similar play styles, having that extra damage going onto the opponent's side when they weren't ready to counter is what got us the dub. They get us all the free stars. We score. We perform. They play. This are not technically out of this yet. But here is the combo. You go stab heavy brute, get the doom dogger. That is us uh, two stars. Uh, hold on. Can the corn take him down? I mean, it's seven damage, so it does. Then we could do this. Or is that too slow? I think we go just for the win here. Stab happy brute, pop him, and then you should be the final point. Lettuce him. Right, here we go. Pop. Yep. Up to eight. Oh no, they're gonna be able to clear him. No. <laughs> We're so close. Okay. Okay, I see you. 
Interesting. Where do we want to go with this? I could play Bloodbeard, but I don't think we're actually scoring Bloodbeard? Honestly? Uh, attacking them doesn't really matter. They're just gonna play you, and then as many other little, like, many other little cards as they can. Okay, it is gonna be air strike time. Airstrike perform because next turn as soon as we summon Severus we should have enough free stars to be able to win. Oh, he scores. Okay. I have to discard somebody. Bye. Take him off the board. <laughs> he comes down on a one? Oh. You are a one frame lead character. That's something special. Dance, baby, dance. And now we got him. Unless... I guess, I guess unless they have a way to be able to put bounties on these baby Cthulhus and then hold my stars from me. Do you have the stop? The bounties are kind of just a delay tactic, but when the game is this close, maybe all he needs is to delay and then he's got a way. Or if you have a way to get rid of the bounties then, you do manage to take the stars out of the game. This is a very cool board. I think this is like the action set piece board. He's got his idea. Pop pop. Too slow. We don't even get to see what he was going to play. Ooh. Cameraman five stars. About to promote in the league. Grab our tickets. Did we finish any dailies? Mm, no, not quite. We just got a reset on the dailies. Okay. Attacks initiated, almost ready to go. Almost ready to go. Well, if you guys enjoyed seeing this additional look at screenplay, have to let me know in the comments down below if you guys have been picking the game up yourselves. Also, let me know. We'll see if we can get a match sometime. Till next time, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next episode.